Hello everyone, I am Debra. Welcome you guys today. I am super, super, duper, super excited to share this recipe that I have for you, you guys. And let me tell you why. Because years ago, I used to go to Starbucks on my way to work and they had this flourless chocolate cookie that I thought was like the world. And of course, back then you guys, my body didn't care how many grams of fat, how many grams of carb that it had in it, it, it just didn't care. But these days, if I look at a carb, you guys, my body is gonna find a spot to store the fat. So, <laughs> so when I came across a copycat recipe for that flourless chocolate cookie, and then when I looked at it and realized that I could ketify it, that's why I am super, super duper excited about it. So just to give you guys an indication of what I'm talking about, I'm going to put the nutritional facts on the screen. So over here, you guys, is the nutrition facts for the original recipe. Mm-hmm. And over here, you guys, is the nutritional fact for the keto fi version that I'm going to make today. So you choose the original or the keto fi version. Now, as you can see, you guys, the difference in the carbs is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. The original recipe has 31 grams of carbs per cookie versus the keto fi version, which has 2.2 grams of carbs, you guys. Okay, yes. So we are going to get into this recipe, but before we do that, let me just show you what the end product looks like. All right, everyone, these are the cookies that we are about ready to put together. Delicious, you guys. Like I said, when I told you that I was really, really, really excited about it, this is the reason why. Oh my gosh, look at that. The chocolate is just melting and they are chewy on the inside. Mm hmm This reminds me of those mornings, you guys, that I used to stop at Starbucks to get a flourless chocolate cookie. Now, you guys, I can eat it guilt-free with only two net carbs versus 35. So, let's go ahead and stop talking and get into how to put these together. Guys, enjoy. And please do give this video a thumbs up. Please do share. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do press that subscribe button below. Right there, the lower right side corner of the screen. I would love to have you along for my YouTube journey. And remember, you guys, to remain safe, healthy, and encouraged. And it is a great day. And you continue to make your own kind of special with delicious low carb keto friendly recipes such as this chewy gooey flourless chocolate cookie and until we meet again you guys keep growing keep driving keep pushing those boundaries so stay tuned and we are going to bake together so good All right, everyone, so let's get started with putting together these flourless chocolate cookies. So I'm going to begin with some confectioner's sugar. Didn't have any confectioner's sugar, you guys. I just had granulated, so the trick of the trade is you take your granulated sugar, you put it into your blender, you blend it, and it will grind into a powdered sweetener, okay? And that's exactly what I have. And all the measurements, you guys, are on the screen. Next, we're gonna add the cocoa powder. And then some salt. And one of the recipes that I saw for the copycat version uh, called for some 
cornstarch. And I'm not exactly sure right now if I am going to use the xanthan gum, which is what I would use in a stack of cornstarch. So I'm just gonna see how this goes. And of course, if I do use the xanthan gum, it is I'm going to be a thickener. Okay, now that these dry ingredients are well combined, I am going to move on to the egg white. Okay, that is actually gonna go into this mixture. Now, you guys, true confession, I um, <laughs> I like to pre-measure things because it just makes my cooking and my baking a lot easier and it flows so much better. But one of the reasons why I go ahead and crack the eggs off screen is because, um, yeah, true confession, sometimes they don't crack very well and I get the eggshell into the actual egg. And yeah, that's not a good look. So <laughs> I that's one of the reasons why I do what I do, you guys, because I don't want to make that mistake on camera. But again, that is the true confession of a cook. All right, so egg white and vanilla extract. I don't know if you saw that, vanilla extract. Okay, into this. And I'm going to mix this together. And that looks good, you guys. It's coming together very, very well. Okay. So I do not use, need that xanthan gum. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm just going to switch over to a spoon. Here we go. Make sure all of this is well incorporated. And also guys, just so you know, I um, did not make the full recipe, although those were the measurements that I am leaving on the screen. Okay, so that's good. So to it, I'm going to add some dark chocolate. And mix that in. Okay. All right, good. So. The milk chocolate, I'm just going to reserve these, so put these on top after I spoon these out um, onto my nonstick baking mat. All right, you guys, I've got my baking sheet. Let's go ahead and lay these out. Wow. Again, I did not make the full recipe. But this should give us a good demonstration of what these cookies are going to look like after they bake. Oh my gosh. Because the shine on this is amazing. And that is all because of that egg white. I just spread them out some. And now I am going to top these with some of these chocolate chips. So we've got chocolate on chocolate on chocolate, you guys. All right, you guys, that looks like a winner to me. So off to the oven they go for about 12 to 15 minutes. I'll see you soon. All right, and here we have it. Hot out of the oven. So at this point, you guys, all we need to do is to let these cool and then I'll be back with you and we're gonna give these a taste. That's the one, you guys. <laughs> 